Hi, and welcome to the sixth part of these tutorials. I am Ervis Trupia, and together on this part, we will talk about type conversion in C sharp. Type conversion, which is also known as typecasting, is a process of converting one type of data to another one. In C sharp, typecasting has two forms implicit and explicit. Implicit conversions are conversions from smaller to larger data types and conversions from derived classes to base classes. Explicit type conversions, on the other hand, are conversions from larger to smaller data types. These conversions are done explicitly by user because the user needs to be aware that he might lose some data. But let's have a look at some code. For built-in numeric data types, an implicit conversion can be made when the value to be stored can fit into the variable without being truncated or rounded off. For example, let us create an integer data type and let us assign this integer data type to a long data type. Since long data type is larger than int data type, the int can fit within the long data type without being truncated or rounded off. So in this case, the compiler implicitly converts the value on the right to a type long before assigning it to the new num variable. You can do the same for base classes as well. However, if a conversion cannot be made without a risk of losing information, the compiler requires that you perform an explicit type conversion, which is called a cast. A cast is a way of explicitly informing the compiler that you intend to make the conversion and that you are aware that data loss might happen. For example, a conversion from double to integer requires a cast. So I'm just going to declare a double data type. So I will write in here double x is equal to 1234.5. And then int a is equal to x. If I hover the mouse over here, I will see that cannot implicitly convert the double to int. And this happens because double data type is larger than integer data type. So we need to add a cast in front of x, int. But in this case, since we are converting a double to integer, everything that's after the floating point will be lost. So we will have a truncated value. So let us see the results on the screen by writing console.writeLine, new num, and we do the same for a. If I run the application, I will see that the value of new num which was implicitly converted from an integer data type to a long data type has the same value. But on the other hand, when we explicitly convert it from double to integer, we have truncated the value. So guys, this is all for this part. See you on the next one.